Hello, I'm Riet from the Codex team. And in this video, I want to talk about community management with Discord. So I feel Discord is super important for us game developers to uh, grow our community, to have people around once you launch your game or you do a big update, to have people that rally your launch and for gathering feedback. And um, gathering feedback and improving the game is obviously a huge component of making your game more successful and better. So if you are running your own Discord server, if not, what are you doing? <laughs> but if you are, you might have noticed a couple of problems. So it's really hard to keep track of feedback and bug reports on Discord. What usually happens, assuming I'm a fan, I'm excited about the game, I join the server and I leave a, a feedback, is that I don't get any updates about it. So I write something. I get a couple of emojis from uh, fellow um, community mem members. I might be lucky enough that the game developer randomly sees my feedback and comments on it, but that's then usually it. I don't hear about what actually happens with my feedback. Um, I might leave another feedback. The same thing happens again. And the engagement or the interaction is, becomes kind of boring and feels pointless. I stop reporting feedback, basically. And from the game developer's perspective, it's also hard. For me, it's super hard. Uh, for example, on our machine mesh Discord server, we have uh, around 6,000 uh, community members. It's really hard to keep track of all the feedback. What, what to do with it? I know a lot of game developers have dedicated community management resources for that, where they copy and paste the feedback into dedicated Excel sheets um, or some text file. But what happens if you keep data in a separate silo uh, you don't look at it usually, it becomes stale, it becomes outdated. And then what happens, but assuming I have that process. So, and now I have a follow-up question for somebody that reported something. Well, how do I reach them? I have to keep track of who reported the initial feedback of the, uh, the user, the initial message. Uh, I have to go back and send them a DM. Maybe their DMs are not open. Um, maybe I have to send them a friend request first. Um, it's kind of complicated and then I can I can use a thread so I have to open a thread first uh, make sure that I invite the right person to comment on it and so on and that's just the beginning assuming I work on this feedback actually um, I might the user might not hear from me for months uh, for weeks and months and then once I implement it I have to re remember that all oh, right this task I did here inside of my project management tool is actually originating from this feedback inside of my Excel sheet or Google sheet or text file. And I should remember to inform the player that their feedback got actually implemented in the game. Why? Because it's cool. It's cool for the player. It uh, makes it so that they want to leave more feedback. When you think about it, it's not really a feedback loop if the players leave feedback and never hear back about it again. And that's a problem that we are trying to solve with Codex and with our Discord bot Deki. So how does Deki handle feedback? So you invite Deki to your server and then you can set up a um, command, a so-called slash command. It's a new Discord feature which allows to um, uh, use uh, bot commands. So I can, let's go into my organization settings. And as you can see here, I already set up one command called feedback. So let's open Discord. If I, I have prepared a feedback channel in here and I, I'm a user that wants to report feedback. So I type slash feedback and then what I want to see in, um, in the tool or in the, in the game. Um, let's say the game is too hard. So I can press return. This extra dialog window opens where I can leave more information in the description. For example, especially on the first level. And now I can submit the feedback and Deki takes this unstructured feedback, which would usually just be a text message inside of the channel, which quickly disappears out of view and takes it, makes it, turns it into a smart item. So I can see here, Deki responds to my command and it writes the full message that I left and gives me a button for upvoting. In this case, since I reported the feature uh, or the feedback, I have already upvoted, but this, gives, uh, this button gives other community members a way to signal agreement with feedback. 
So let's jump into Codex and see what that means. So inside of Codex, in my hand dashboard, I can go into the app upload statistics and I can see all the concurrent ongoing trending feedback that I'm receiving in real time as I'm receiving it. So in here, I already see the game is too hard and that's the new feedback I just left. I can click on it. I can see more information about it and I can see here at the top the amount of upvotes it received. So far, it's just me <laughs> because I'm actually on my private test uh, server. If you have been uh, carefully watching, you might have noticed that Decky created automatically created a thread where I can have follow up conversations about this. You might also notice that Decky already annotated the smart item with seen by dev. This was automatically um, added just through me opening the card and seeing the card inside of Codex. I will go into more detail about that in a second. But let's assume I have a follow up thought about that and I want to write uh, the second level as well. The rest are fine. And as you can see here in the background, Deki not only tracks the initial uh, feedback, but also all the follow-up conversations about, about it. So I can keep everything tidy and keep everything in one place. And I can just interact with this one card to really see the feedback, how many people agreed with it, and also what their additional thoughts are uh, on it. So let's say I might add a not super useful <laughs> addition, uh, which I don't care for particularly tracking inside of Codex, I can just click here on the message and remove it. So it's out of view and I can make sure that I only keep the really relevant information on here. And now this is a regular card like any other card inside of Codex. So Codex is a general purpose project management tool, which is more playful uh, than other tools and has a really big focus on being visual and easy to use and uh, being there for the whole team. Uh, so in this case, I can, I can engage with this card like in any card, other card. Uh, so I can add it to a deck to categorize it, for example. I can add it to a milestone if I'm working with sprints, for example. I can add it to my hand to keep track of it. Let's do that. So now it's on my hand. Maybe as a card that I want to work on today. What's really cool now is that this feedback loop that I mentioned before is that once I engage with this card, I can automatically inform the user that about all the real-time updates that are happening to this card. So as I add it to my hand or to a milestone, as I start working on this card, or as I add, uh, set it to done, I can automatically update the user in, in different ways. One way, is for example by automatically annotating this card. So in this case, it kind of got promoted from, oh, I've just seen this card to, I actually added it to my hand, to my to-do list for the day. And I can, if the user goes uh, through their messages or through the, the smart items in these channels, they can on, can on one glance see what's actually the status of each of the reported items. I can also make it so that they get receive a message so when I set the card to done, I can make it so that they receive a message, a public shout out on the server channel or on the inside of the thread. You can set this all up inside of uh, the settings here. For example, in here you can customize whether it should post in the thread or inside of the channel. If it should send a message, if it should annotate it, don't annotate it. This really depends on your own organization and how your own team works with, with the feedback and with the project management in general. But if you do this, this is really a magic moment where when the player gives a feedback, it's a big aha moment when they see other community members chime in, leave upvotes, leave comments, and then once you actually implemented the feedback, get a real-time update on, on the state of the feedback and seeing that it gets done. And then it becomes really a feedback loop because this engages people to leave more feedback since they are actually seeing what's happening. It's kind of like they're receiving feedback on their feedback. And that's a, an ingredient which has been missing for a long time from 
uh, from the experience that which people usually have when they report feedback on on Codex or on Discord. Sorry. You can also enable leaderboards. So let's jump in here and go into the Codex leaderboards uh, or Codex Discord. Obviously, we're using it ourselves and jump in here and you can see the leaderboards. You can make the leaderboards be posted automatically in a periodic um, frequency, for example, once a week or however you want to set it up. And you can make the leaderboard feature any time range th that you want. So it could be like overall all the feedback that has ever been reported or just the feedback of the last week. If you want to make sure that it's not too overwhelming for your users. And also the annotations are supported inside of the leaderboard. So on one glance, people can see, well, what's the state of this top reported uh, feedback, for example? Oh, it has been seen by the developer. It has been added to their personal to-do list. It has been assigned to a user and so on. That adds a lot of information and a lot of uh, real-time updates that are usually not available. If you try to uh, keep track of your feedback inside of a text file or a Google Sheet or something. So this is just a glimpse of uh, what Deki can do. You can use Deki right now. You can add it to your server. Uh, you can use it in, together with Codex. Codex is a general purpose project management tool. Um, so I think it is really powerful if you combine those two ideas, your project management and your community management. So you have your tasks with, which are originate from yourself and mixed with those, the community tasks, which originate from the community and you treat them as the same thing. You mix them inside of milestones and so on. And you don't have to do extra work to treat the community cards in any special way. You just work with them. You set them to done. You set them to in progress. You assign them. You have discussions about them inside of your team. And your community will be automatically updated and engaged with that content. That's really powerful. So this is just a glimpse on what uh, Deki can offer. Check out uh, our website and our menu page for a more extensive list. Check out our website also if you're interested in uh, the project management aspects. And this is something we've been, we've been really working hard on that we've been using on our internal, um, on our own uh, Discord server that we've been using on our game server, which has uh, over 6,000 members and has been super uh, useful for us. And um, we think it will be also very useful to you. You can use this even for free. It's part of the free plan on Codex. Um, if you go to the pro plan, you can use some of these more advanced annotations. So a couple of weeks we set out to create with the goal to create just nothing less than the best feedback system for Discord. Um, we feel that's really important for us game developers to get a grasp on that whole process to really make sure that we are not wasting our time with tedi tedious busy work so that your community managers actually can engage meaningfully with your community so that you get really a good um, amount of feedback for your game and can improve it and build your community. And I'm excited for you to try it out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and until the next one. Bye.